air from the WB57 of the capsule as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Um, those views coming from an infrared camera that is on board. So the team will continue to track Dragon as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. We now have about three minutes remaining in the blackout period, but again, the WB-57 that is deployed is getting those views of Dragon already. Once the expected blackout period is over, the core here in Mission Control will attempt to establish communications with the crew. So you may hear some call-outs checking in with the crew. Uh, and they will make that call out until the crew does respond, which will confirm acquisition of signal. We have about two minutes remaining in the anticipated period of uh, communications blackout. Now, it's not an exact science. There might be some variation that occurs. Uh, we might hear from the crew a little earlier the, than we expected or potentially a little bit later. Um, but we are all on the edge of our seats, eagerly awaiting um, to hear from the crew. So far, everything looking good. Dragon, SpaceX, comm check. Continuing to get those views from the WB-57 of Crew Dragon as it uh, continues to make its way closer and closer to splashdown. Freedom, SpaceX, comm check. And SpaceX, Freedom has the left clear, coming through 30 kilometers altitude. Copy and concur, expect automated shoot deployment. Freedom copies, we'll be monitoring. And HEPS is converged. Expect nominal shoot deployment altitude. Three copies. Looking for nominal shoot deployment. Well, Jesse, it is absolutely phenomenal to hear from the crew on the other side of that communications blackout period. We are continuing to get these great views from the WB-57 high altitude aircraft, providing that thermal imagery. Um, we did even see the tail of entry of the vehicle, and it's just absolutely um, beautiful to see that. So we also heard a We did hear a call up to the crew that um, they are expecting the automated drogue deployment. So we're, we're just standing by for confirmation that Dragon's shoots have deployed. Again, there will be a set. Freedom SpaceX, brace for drogue window. Bracing for drugs. Core here communicating with the crew, giving them a heads up that they should feel the drug shoots deploying here shortly, followed by the main shoots just about a minute later. The, the drug shoots do help to slow the vehicle down to about 350 miles per hour, whereas the main shoots will deploy, uh, after the main shoots deploy, it will slow the vehicle down even more, and by the time that the vehicle splashes down, it should be around 16 miles per hour. And there's those 
drogue shoots, and you can hear the crowd here very excited to see them deploy. Drug shoot descent rate nominal and visual on two healthy drugs. Freedom copies. Very cool view of Dragon with the two drug shoots. We are just anticipating the main shoots to deploy here shortly. Descent rate nominal, visual on four healthy mains. And great news, as you can see there, the main shoots have deployed, slowing the Dragon vehicle down significantly down to approximately 119 miles per hour. Freedom is 1,000 meters. Copy 1,000. Now Dragon has saved all propulsion systems and is now terminating the nitrox suit and cabin purges and is beginning to increase. Freedom is about 800 meters. Copy, 800. Dragon is beginning to increase pressure in preparation for landing. And mission control, the mission control team here in Hawthorne is reporting the precise landing coordinates to the recovery team. So we did get that confirmation on the main shoots. 600. The crew is now 600 meters away from splashing down. We do expect splash down in about two minutes from now. Landing in water is simpler, therefore more reliable, and it provides more margin against unlikely parachutes. 400 meters. Copy, four. Provides more margin against unlikely parachute issues. We had to learn how to make Dragon waterproof. But once you do, it is a rinse, review, and reuse type of process. And we are just about a minute away from splashdown of the Dragon vehicle back onto planet Earth. And hearing good call outs of the altitude of Dragon. Freedom's at 200 meters. We're bracing for splashdown. Copy, brace for splashdown. And again, that descent rate is as expected here. Pretty soon, we should be able to see the view of the ocean come into view as Crew Dragon Freedom, with four astronauts on board, prepares to splash down after spending 170 days in space after launching on April 27th. Welcome home, crew four. Great view watching Dragon splash down back on planet Earth. Now, as you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for a splashdown of the Dragon spacecraft. Dragon Freedom has returned home, and NASA astronauts Chell, Bob, Jessica, and ES. SpaceX Freedom, we are water uprighting and stable one. Copy Freedom. We see stable one. You are go for four decimal eight hundred. And on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. Thanks for flying SpaceX. Copy, 
and uh, SpaceX uh, from Freedom. Thank you for an incredible ride up to orbit and an incredible ride home. Glad to be back.